Hello, welcome to RTV Teaching English to the Sheep program. I am Kancha Ailaya Shepherd. Uh, today will be the second lesson. In the first lesson, we have seen why learning English is important for all children in the villages, in the even forest areas or in urban areas. Today we will look at how so many animals came into human life. If you go to any village, you will see lot of cattle uh, in front of houses, also when they were they are going to be grazed or feed in the fields. And human life is linked up deeply to the cattle. Of course, human life is also deeply linked up to animals and birds. Take for example our food. Human food consists of fruits, vegetables of course, but much earlier than we produced vegetables, human food mainly consisted of meat, fish. Now which meat was very important for human being in the early age? which meat actually sustained human life in the early times. Obviously, chicken as a bird, we know that all around chicken are there in the, in, in, in the human houses as well as in the farms and we eat chicken meat as well as chicken egg as one of the very protein uh, containing food item. But we also eat, in India particularly, we eat sheep and goat meat. And we use other big animals for agriculture purpose, for producing crops, producing grain, and feeding ourselves along with meat, uh, you know, animal milk, also grain. Let us say we have, we eat lot of rice or we eat wheat or we eat barley or any other millets. Today, millet food is becoming popular. So how do the millets come? What was the process in which millets or rice or wheat was produced by people in the villages uh, historically? Now, the only source of major labor was animal. Buffalo, cow, bull, he buffalo. These animals became our life-saving animals. They became part of our house. They became part of our village. They became part of our culture, part of our economy. But children and parents, do we know how, at what stage, our ancestors made animals our friends, the animals which could stay in our houses, what is called domestication of animals. How did they do it? Take for example, buffalo, which is a beautiful black animal and it gives milk and it has very strong body and it survives in hot summer areas and also very cold areas. 
but mostly buffalo survives in india and other some south asian countries people don't understand that buffalo's color is beautiful it's black beautiful whereas cow mostly is either white or sometimes red or sometimes black and white and red and mixture now how we domesticated buffalo how we domesticated cow how did we teach them to live around us without harming us without killing us were they always like such gentle animals at all no they were very wild animals once upon a time if a buffalo saws in the forest it would just come and attack us and kill us with its horns you know it has two horns like this or a cow will have two horns like this so was that the animal that we first domesticated or the most other useful animals like sheep and goat and the most powerful bir- bird that we domesticated which lives around our a uh, family life is chicken how did we do it chicken was not always growing at homes it was also like you know peacocks like other birds uh it was a forest bird uh, how did it did come into our life i'll tell you the story how it came first human being made friendship with sheep and goat these animals were not very cruel and very fast running and uh, they were not having the body structure to kill human beings but it was difficult to bring a forest based sheep or goat and keep at human house in quite ancient days thousands of years back human houses were small sheds with leaves and you know sticks and so on so even then though there were a lot of forests all around the houses but the animals were not living with human beings as one among them now how did such animals became our family the way they became our family members was through a process of domestication making them human friendly children will also try now you know they bring bird and then try to keep at home uh, see that it is put in a cage and after some time it gets used and if that is left again it will run away but chicken won't run away from your house and even if you live slightly far away it will come back to your home why because it became part of your family membership that is what the birds and some if you leave a buffalo in the forest near the village it will come back by the evening or a cow or a bull whether it is a buffalo bull or a cow bull they will come back because they know their house whereas sheep and goat don't have such powerful memory therefore they cannot come back but now i will tell you the story of how we domesticated first sheep and goat you know when human beings were living mostly in the forest they have not become what we are today 
with good villages good cities good roads you know good uh, uh, water resources and all that human beings also were living in the forest like animals were living but they started slowly you know learning civilization uh man and woman were living together the children were coming up and they needed to have food for them and mostly the hunting and you know gathering food was not easy when numbers of human beings were increasing so what they did was a very interesting thing take for example you are living in a small village they like tribal hamlet and that hamlet has no idea about animals being at home but there were number of sheep and goat in the forest roaming around eating grass because among animals there are two types some animals eat only grass and leaf but some animals eat only meat take for example sheep goat buffalo cow uh even donkey horse they all eat only grass whereas a lion a tiger or even a dog does not eat grass dog eats non vegetable food non grass it eats meat it eats fish or if you feed with some rice or uh, roti or jowar some dogs eat some dogs even don't like that but lion and tiger for example don't eat anything like that they eat only other animals meat even human meat they kill human beings and eat the flesh so animal world was divided into two parts a uh, grass and leaf eating animal world is one they are mostly mild they are they can be easily befriendable whereas lion and tiger kind of animals you cannot easily befriend them because they kill us and eat if we bring them home and then keep in the house uh, sometime they will come out and then kill us and eat our uh, our flesh whereas a buffalo a cow or a bull or a sheep or a goat they don't do that they will have to go out and eat grass so this tribal village i we were talking take for example that village so there were sheep all around they were killing them and eating either by hitting with rods hitting with stones hitting with uh, you know cudgel or uh, anything but they were not growing at home so imagine how they could have befriended and made them animals that survive at home they must have first got hold of some fish or some sheep and brought it home and they must have tied it tried to feed grass because they observed that animal was eating grass when it was in the forest but naturally when an animal which was freely living in the forest and eating which is not used to uh, eat a cut and fed grass naturally it won't eat like that it won't survive so a person must have done that and the animal could have easily died then what could have the alternative what could have been the alternative thought the alternative thought is that human being saw animal delivering lamb the babies 
the babies drink milk mother milk but the the life span of the baby with the mother milk survival is a very short time maybe uh, for 2 weeks 3 weeks or maximum a month but after that even the baby starts eating grass so this persons who wanted to grow an animal at their home they must have brought the lamb the baby and kept it home if it was milk drinking level animal baby then it its survival is difficult because the mother milk is not available with the people there and there is no other way human being could feed milk except taking milk from other animals because this we are talking about an animal which was a uh, pre domesticated domestication of all other big animals like buffaloes or cows and so on so what they could have done is simply this they brought the baby and for some time they also captured the mother and made her drink its milk for some time even assuming that in that environment after week or 10 days or 20 days the mother died because it was not eating the grass that was being fed by the people who brought it but slowly the baby begins to acquaint uh eating grass around the house so babies grow in new environments more easily than very grown up animals that's how domestication process started so human beings must have brought lamb sheep babies goat and they started growing them at home once one animal's baby grows it becomes big if it is a female then naturally after some time maybe after 6 months or 7 months the female baby is met with a male sheep when the female could graze grass somewhere near the forest but it is a human friendly animal it will meet other animals and come back or the human being can keep a watch on that now once it meets a male animal if there is a sexual relationship between them the female animal becomes pregnant now that female animal delivers a baby at home only now that is the beginning of domestication once a female animal becomes a pregnant like human beings around us man and woman live together and woman becomes pregnant and child birth takes place similarly when a male animal meets a female animal then the female animal becomes pregnant it delivers the baby and the baby once delivered at home becomes a domesticated animal now assume that the new baby is a male so the female and male among the animals there is no such relationship like mother and son or things like that so when they again you know meet then the same female animal delivers one more one more one more as much as they could 
as much as it could by the time it is of old age or so the animal head begins to grow now once one family does this other families learn how to bring small animals and grow them at home similar process happened to chicken also after all chicken was not a home bird but when the chicken lays down the eggs when it sleeps over the eggs for some time and then the egg becomes a chick a chicken baby then if you can bring that chicken baby because chicken female chicken can lay more eggs sometimes 10 15 or so and can uh, produce 10 15 Uh, chicks from that and imagine uh, if 10 15 small chicks are brought by somebody and started feeding because chicken eat from very early days uh, uh, small small uh, grains and other resources so they grow at home once they grow at home they become domesticated that's so the chicken life came into our life and today whether it is a village whether it is a town whether it is urban area human food consists both there is a lot of misinformation that human beings are also vegetarian only they should eat only fruit or vegetable you know children and parents you should understand whatever background you come from there were no vegetables produced in the fields for thousands and thousands of years only fruits were available in the nature roots were available human beings must have eaten that but human being invariably has grown with two kinds of food which is called food food should not be separated from meatarianism and vegetarianism food is food human beings eat digestible meat like chicken meat sheep meat goat meat even deer so on and so forth or rabbit so on and so forth and we also eat vegetables and fruits and you know sometimes uh, leaves and flowers so that's how human food consisted both so it is in this process uh, our wealth our food resource went on increasing and once having learned the domestication of animals like sheep and goat and then birds like uh, chicken there is a scientific process that you can apply this to uh, either a buffalo domestication or a cow domestication the scientific process tells us that once you did this the same thing can be repeated anywhere this is how we became animal friends so in our villages you have animals birds crops and in the next lesson we will discuss or learn how we grow crops how we understood that earth can produce crops under our control thank you for watching the video subscribe 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 rtv rtv telugu rtv rtv telugu rtv telugu rtv telugu